Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making granola bars. Yes, it's going to be delicious and I'm doing four different flavors. There are two main ingredients to this, which is oats and honey slash maple syrup. Um, and then you just add whatever uh, toppings and things you like. So let's get into this video and I'm going to show you how I make different variations. So let me quickly talk about the oats. I do like it when they are nice and whole and they're not broken into little pieces because I feel like the flavor is so much better and it also holds the granola bar together even better. So um, this is the one I like using. I recommend going for these oats. I'm pretty sure they're called old fashioned rolled oats. I'm not really sure with the types of oats. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to be adding in my honey and maple syrup. So I've done half and half, half honey, half maple syrup. And this is just so we can get some sweetness in there and also so um, it can actually stick together. Now I'm simply going to give it a mix. So the first flavor that I'm going to be doing is vanilla chai. By the way, the four flavors that I am doing is seed and nuts. Um, then I'm going to have cranberry and chocolate. And I'm going to have raspberry, coconut and chocolate. But as I said, first is vanilla chai. So here I have a mixture of cinnamon, ginger and nutmeg. And I'm going to put that into a separate bowl. And of course I have vanilla extract. So, you know, hence vanilla chai. Um, and then I'm going to add a small portion of my oats into this bowl. And I'm going to make these bars quite small just to show you. But you can obviously double this recipe and make it bigger. But I just wanted to give you some variations in case you want to make these because they're a super handy snack. I love taking it to school. And there you go. That's your vanilla chai done. I might actually add a little more. Just a little bit. And yeah, that's the vanilla chai done. So now for the chocolate and cranberry flavor, I have here some dried cranberries. If you've never tried these, you're definitely missing out. They are so delicious. And I'm going to put some oats in. And I'm also going to be melting this chocolate. So at the moment we have our vanilla chai and chocolate and cranberry done. What I want to do now is my coconut, raspberry and chocolate flavor. So in this small saucepan I do have a little bit of caster sugar, just a tiny bit, um, about a tablespoon, maybe not even that much. And I have here some raspberries and I'm going to make some raspberry compote or raspberry goo, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm just going to mix it over a, the hob on a low heat until it turns into a nice little puree and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So this is what my raspberry uh, compote or puree, whatever you want to call it, looks like. You can strain it to get rid of the seeds but I actually like them so I'm going to leave them in and I'm mixing it in with my desiccated coconut and of course I have to add oats. So, I'm going to grab another lot of oats. Oh, and the colors are so beautiful for this one. So by the way, for the raspberry and coconut one, what I'm going to do is put a drizzle of chocolate once it has uh, come out of the oven. Um, so yeah just to let you know. And for the last one, I have some nuts and seeds. Now I am going to chop these a little bit finer. You can blitz it in a food processor if you really wanted to, but because it's such a small amount, I'd rather just chop it personally. And I'll add the rest of my oats in. So I've chopped them up. I'm going to put them in and give them a mix. So now I'm going to start putting my um, bars into here. If you want, you can do cute little shapes with them. I'm just going to do it in a like rectangle and then I'm going to cut them after they come out of the oven. So let's get to it. Actually, I might start with this one. So 
So what you want to do now is set your oven to about 170 degrees um, and keep your uh, granola bars in there for about 10 minutes. They may still be a little soft but let them set for about 10 minutes once you bring them out of the oven. And they will harden a little bit but you still want them to be nice and soft. Once I accidentally left them in there for 15 and oh my gosh, it makes a difference. It's not as good. Um, so yeah, let's pop these in. <laughs> I didn't divide it perfectly, but oh well, let's go. Okay guys, so now it is finally time to try these little cute granola bars. So I was really, really impressed by the color of this one because it is pink. I think it's super cute. And of course, the most important thing is to try it, so. Mm. I love it, definitely very fruity. Now I'm gonna try out the cranberry and chocolate one. Oh yeah. I love that intense flavor from the chocolate. Yum. Now the seed and nut. I'm going to take smaller pieces because I'm still quite full from lunch. <laughs> Mmm, I love this one. I like the crunch that you get from the seeds and the nuts. Really nice. And last but definitely not least, vanilla chai. Mmm, I love spiced things. Anything with cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, yum. <laughs> So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I did want to give you a ranking of my favorite to least favorite, but I love them all so much that I can't pick, I can't choose. So you're not gonna get a ranking, <laughs> but I do definitely love all of them. They are so good, super quick, easy, healthy snack to take to work with school. Um, and yeah, uh, so I'll see you guys next week. I don't know what video is gonna be up next week, so not gonna make any promises about anything but if i do know i will write it in the description box and stay tuned on my instagram because i could give you some clues see you next time bye